Hey guys, Henning and Morten from Flip Normals here. In this video, we're gonna be showing you one of the most useful things you can really do in Seabirds when it comes to pipeline. This here is something you're gonna be doing all the time if you're dealing with any kind of retopology or just any kind of production. This is something that I wish I knew like uh, many, yes. many years ago when I first started out with ZBrush. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So what we're gonna be showing you now is how to reproject from a low res model, on f from a high res model onto a low res model here. This is once you're doing your concept sculpting and you have all the shapes here, mm. and now you've done re your retopology and you want to get all these nice, nicely sculpted details onto this super low res base here. Yeah. So. This is fairly simple to do. There are just a few steps you just have to know about. So the very first step we're gonna do here is we're gonna subdivide the model up to a few million polys, like so. The, the exact amount of subdivisions, that just depends on how, on how much detail you wanna reproject back. So around three million is gonna be fine for now. And then we go and we store a morph target. A morph target is it's basically a copy of the model at this current state. So if we, let's say we're sculpting some stuff now, now we can switch between this, this. Yeah. which also means you can paint it out as well using a morph brush. So if you want to paint this out now, uh, the hotkey is BMO for morph, for morph brush. Now we can just paint this out. This just goes between these. Yeah. So essentially what we're going to be doing now, we're going to be projecting from the high res onto this guy here now and just painting out areas which screw up because stuff is going to screw up for sure. <laughs> Yeah, you always have things like things that are basically too close together, yeah. like eyes, mouths, underneath arms, armpits, that kind of stuff. That that usually messes up yeah. because ZBrush, like when it does its like boundary projection, it just goes, eh, it's too close. I'll just make yeah. a jumbled mess. Exactly. Also, because when you retopology, retopologizing, you might you might have areas like the inside of the eyes here, but you didn't sculpt them like this. You just kind of throw yeah. in some stuff there. Mouth as well. You're gonna have to re-sculpt all of this. So this is also why I'm advocating for not taking your final model or your high res to perfection before you reproject it. But let's move on here. So now we start, we make a layer. It's important that you do all of this on a highest level. So subdivide up to the level you want to be working on afterwards, then make morph target, and then we make a layer. Mm. And then we go to, uh, I just have a hotkey here, set to dynamic or set to solo, which is quite handy. Then we just go to subtool, and then we go to project. And the default settings are mostly fine. I usually take the, the PA blur just down, that just blurs it a bit. And now we can just hit uh, project on this. Again, just make sure we have a layer. We do have a layer and we have a morph target. It's important that we have both of these. And subtool, project, and project all. Super exciting. Oh, that's good. <laughs> talk about you know while we're projecting because this is just super exciting mm. is you know the morph the morph brush is great but another thing you can do to sort of mitigate the issues as well is you can you can project in stages mm. so sometimes projecting you know go up to your highest level store a morph morph target and create a layer but then step down back to the lower levels yeah. and start projecting from the lower levels that can that can sometimes help to mitigate some of the issues you're having yeah absolutely also if you know if you know for instance maybe the ear isn't isn't correctly positioned yeah you can just move that into position on the lowest level yeah so yeah absolutely if you're having massive issues uh, really good idea to mm. go go through the level or layer uh, the, through go through the subdivision levels and just reproject from that I usually just go go crazy like this, just do in one go, yeah. and just hit just hit project and fix it. But this is also personal preference. All right, cool. So this entire process here might take a few minutes, depending on your system and on on how how much you're trying to project here. So what we're going to do now? Let's disable this guy here, and let's look at this. So now we have the subdivision levels here, with all the nice sculpting here if we mm. go up and down. But, and it looks awesome, but now you can start to see we're getting some issues here. Oh no. Oh no. So what you can do, you can just smooth these out or you can just straight up paint them out or sculpt them out using the morph brush. So if you just see what happened now, if you just sculpt all this out uh, using the morph brush, we, um, we're we just getting back to the original clean model. Yeah. And this is a really clean and nice way of doing it because you are gonna have issues like this, which screw up. Yeah. Smoothing that out is really annoying sometimes. Yeah, it really is. So you can either smooth it out or you can just paint, sculpt it out using the morph brush. And you are going to have issues like this, which is 
exactly why I'm advocating for not doing like final alphas and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. This model here, we actually took a bit too far. Like I, uh, the, this is for a tutorial we made. Uh, showing how to sculpt this. So that was for purposes of the tutorial. It was great mm. But in production I probably wouldn't have done like some of this no. this frequency here What you can also do you can see some of the areas around the stomach You know, that's where the topology or the retopologized version differs quite a lot yeah. from the reproject or the high-res one so you can try and sort of manually move those points on the sculpted high-res version to match closer on you know with the retopologized version you have absolutely what you can also do as well if you know there are areas which are going to just screw up is before you reproject like you can see this area here is just completely <laughs> busted and they might be really tricky to fix yeah so you can see here this doesn't match at all uh, what you can do you can just straight up mask it out just hold the control key and just mask out whatever region it might be this is something i actually usually do for the eyes yeah. i'll have a poly group on the inside of the eye mm. and then just grow the poly group a little bit to just reach the outside of the lid mask it based on that poly group and then reproject that's actually a really good idea yeah because you this here is this you can't you can't fix this like yeah. this here is <laughs> this here is just completely screwed up yeah this is also because you you need to just make sure that your um, your low res is matching as close as you can. Yeah. But we deliberately chose this here as an example because we knew we knew there were areas. Like you see the mouth, here, <laughs> it's just like this is just completely screwed up. You can't repair anything here. So uh, yeah, going in with a morph brush here is is just it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. You just if you were to smooth it, you uh, you know it doesn't doesn't work that yeah. nicely. You're never gonna be able to smooth these kind of things out properly. So what I what I did before I learned about how to use the morph brush and stuff was I would go down to the lowest level, and then I would smooth it out. Go to the next level, ah. smooth out a little bit because sometimes you have these rogue verts that just go to infinity. Yeah. And if, and if you do get those which do go to infinity and you go to up and down certain level, they're just really hard to, to get rid of. Yeah, exactly. You can't really grab them properly. Yeah, and, and if you're smoothing them out, this is tricky. So by doing this, you're just removing everything, mm. which is it's really nice. So make sure, just evaluate your entire model. You can see areas which are like cylinders, like the legs here are usually going to be fairly, fairly decent because the retopology is probably going to match better. But areas I would highly recommend watching out for between the thick Seems like that did a pretty decent job here, but you might just have a lot of crazy shit going on. Ah, here you can see it actually. So this is something which is hard to, they're hard to catch. <laughs> so here I would just smooth them out a little or just paint them out. Because these little guys here can just cause so many issues down the pipe as well. Yeah, you see your displacement map from something extracted like this will just be... There's like these hard lines yeah. and the displacement map is just going to look weird. And you might also just take your model out, uh, export this model here out into the pipeline again now, because now uh, now everything is retopologized retopo and you have a master model here in ZBrush. Mm. It's a good idea to take this guy here into into uh, Maya again or Max or whatever yeah, it is yeah. and republish this. So uh, I highly recommend you check out like uh, armpits between the fingers into his little butt here. Scrotum uh, is the most crucial part. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> no, see, there you see, go. See, there it's, we go. Yeah, you wouldn't have caught that if you're like, no, no, yeah. that's fine. <laughs> you underestimated this guy's scrotum. <laughs> we had this before as well when we talked about uh, scrotum for some reason. Oh, yeah. And somebody just looked at uh, the transcribed version of the subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> and it was the weirdest shit. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. So also, uh, after this as well, just re-sculpt it. Yeah. Straight up just re-sculpt these areas here really just have a proper sculpting pass afterwards. This is why it's important to not go too far in your concepting stage yeah. because you don't want to commit yourself to too many small little details that will then hurt your little heart after <laughs> yeah. it's been destroyed by reprojection. Because you might just have to do this and just remove the entire yeah. scapel here. Now you're going to have to re-sculpt it and yeah. then your poor little heart is going gonna, is gonna to weep. That sucks. Yeah. Poor little sculpting heart. <laughs> <laughs> poor little sculpting heart. So yeah, definitely take a proper sculpting pass after this as well mm. and uh, then just really take it to the next level here yeah another thing you can do as well is um like henning mentioned with the masking you can reverse that mask and then only project on a specific area mm. so let's say there was part of the stomach that you wanted to reproject because you messed it up with the morph brush yeah. then you can just mask that inverse that mask invert invert that mask and then reproject only on like the abs or something yeah so just to quickly sum this up here, very simple process really. You mm. have a low res and you have a high res. You subdivide your low res up to a certain point, like maybe a few million. You store a morph target, you make a layer, you go to tool, project, project, set the PA blur all the way down, hit project, 
and then you just fix your your issues here. This is really an essential skill to have for yeah. anyone who is working with not just concept sculpting, but it's actually working with some kind of topology we're going to have to reproject. Yeah. So yeah, really hope this has been useful for you. If you want to see more like this in the future, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let us know if you have any cool suggestions for new videos as mm, well. Definitely. So thanks for watching.